In this video, I'll walk you through the edit of this image of the Half Dome at Yosemite National Park. This edit is done with Lightroom on the iPad, and it will run at three times normal speed. I shot this image with a camera converted to a 590 nanometer infrared filter, and I also used an external newer 850 nanometer infrared filter. Since it cuts the light to 850, it's only capturing infrared light, and therefore I converted the image to black and white. This crop is a 4x5, mainly for Instagram, but I can easily switch to 9x13 crop for printing. I shot this uh, bracketed with three shots, either to do uh, HDR to ensure I was capturing all the dynamic range and the reflection, or uh, to select the best shots. But there was plenty of dynamic range in uh, at least one of the shots, so I picked that individual shot, the best exposure, and then just used that to make my edits. In this edit, I'm basically doing all of the basic adjustments in uh, the light effects and detail panels, along with uh, the things like the graduated filter here to bring up the, uh, the brightness of the reflection, um, and then no other uh, edits to the image. So we'll darken the sky up a little bit. Here I want to brighten uh, up the, the edges of the image to really draw attention to the darker subject, uh, the face of the half dome. So I'll make uh, some edits with the, the graduated filter and radial filter around the edges of the image to make them brighter and whiter. Normally in an image you want to uh, make the, the, the brightest part of the image where you're drawing your attention, but in this image it's actually the opposite. I want to I want to make the darkest part of the image the part that I'm drawing attention to, the face of the half dome. So with the face of the half dome, I want to, to add a little bit of punch here, so I'm going to use the, the brush to, uh, filter to select the dome, and this is really convenient to do with the Apple Pencil for the iPad uh, to be able to draw and select the area that you want to highlight. So now that I've highlighted this area, I can make some adjustments to uh, things like exposure and contrast uh, and clarity uh, to get, the, to get the, the right amount of punch and the right amount of contrast uh, within the, the dark face of the half dome. The top of the half dome is a little bit blown out in this particular uh, version. It, we haven't lost any detail, so I'll also use the adjustment brush here to be able to uh, select the, the, the top of the half dome and then adjust the exposure. This was shot on uh, New Year's Eve, so uh, there is snow on the top of the half dome and I want to be able to see a little bit of that detail. Now that I've done that to the, the, the half dome itself, now, now I can make the same adjustments to the reflection of the half dome in the water. What's nice about working with the iPad is you can rotate the iPad so that when you're working with the pencil, you can get the best angle for drawing uh, for what's convenient. So you can't really see it here, but I'm actually rotating the iP iPad around in a circle to get whatever angle works best for working with the pencil. So now that I've highlighted the, uh, the reflection of the face of the half dome, now I can make similar adjustments uh, to the contrast, clarity, etc. And then of course, the top of the half dome is also blown out uh, in the reflection now that I've brightened it up, so I'll need to make a similar adjustment here, uh, bring that exposure level down so that we can see uh, the detail, we can still see the snow uh, on the top of the half dome. All right, so there we go. Uh, that's it, it was really a pretty basic edit, very straightforward, of course a great subject. Uh, this is the before uh, shot, so this is what it looked like straight out of camera uh, with no adjustments made, and then this is the after look uh, once I've made these adjustments. So again, this is the before shot, and this is the after shot. So there you go, that is a edit of the half dome image from Yosemite National Park, shot uh, at 850 nanometers infrared, Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.